On this episode of Retro Car Guy 530, I'm going to demonstrate the DJI Fly Up for Android devices auto update process and how do you have to set some permissions this first time to upgrade from version 1.2.4 917-official to version 1.2.4 919-official. Back on January 4th, 2021, I created a video documenting the upgrade procedure for the DJI Fly Up to version 1.2.2. That was the first version that was available only via a download of an APK file from DJI's website. The Google Play Store latest version is 1.2.1 and that's still true today on February 2nd, 2021 as I create this video. The upgrade procedure was to download the APK file, execute the APK file, and then you had version 1.2.2 as of that January 4th video. Now, there was a later release of uh, DJI Fly Up version 1.2.4 on Android, and actually that was available first on Android, and that had a minor version string in the parentheses of 917-official. And then yesterday when I executed the DJI Fly Up on my Android device, I found that it performed its auto update check and found an update to install. And it's a different process than downloading the APK file directly yourself manually. It actually performs the auto update and will install it, but there's some permissions you have to set. And after that installation of that auto update release download, it was version 1.2.4, so it's still the same major version number of the first three digits at least. And then in the parentheses, it said 919-official. So there was a minor upgrade available via this auto update procedure. And that's what I'm going to walk you through in this video. So let's do that now. I made a previous video about the DJI Fly app for Android being downloaded via an APK file since it's no longer in the Google Play Store. Now with 1.2.4 being installed, it's checking on the DJI website directly and detected a minor version upgrade that was available. So now it's downloading that particular file in the background and it will perform these auto update checks. And we can see if we look at the status panel here, we have the downloading new version taking place. And there's a new setting you need to enable to allow it to download and bring in applications from this particular source. So once we get it downloaded here, and this is where we need to go into the settings to allow it to bring the apps from this source in. And we're going to enable that by toggling the radio button there. And that should allow that to continue in future executions of the program. So now we're going to go ahead and install the downloaded file that it obtained from DJI directly. And we'll notice at the end of this that there will be a minor version change. There was a it's still 1.2.4, but there's a three-digit version number after that 1.2.4 in parentheses that has been updated. So now let's go into the application, and it's going to do its regular update here, and it's not going to lose any settings when this happens. And then we're going to go down into Profile, and then once we're in the Profile area, we're going to click on Settings and scroll down to the lower left section, and here we see 1.2.4 and 919 is the version rather than 917 which was the downloaded version via the APK file. So the auto update will do its own version checks now and prompt you to install the later version. After installing this I did not get prompted to update the program again so if you install it successfully you should not get the prompt again until there's a version update from DJI. As you can see, the auto update process of the DJI Fly Up on the Android device to version 1.2.4 919-official is pretty straightforward. But let me go through the versions here again just to give you a quick overview of that again. 1.2.1 is the latest release on the Google Play Store. Version 1.2.2 was the first one available via the APK file download from the DJI website. Then the first version of 1.2.4 was also downloaded as an APK file that was 1.2.4. 917-official and then that's the version I ran yesterday and it auto detected the fact that there was a release available as an auto update download and that is version 1.2.4 919-official. So those are the versions that I've been working with over the last month with the DJI Fly Up on an Android device. So if you go through that process, make sure you set those permissions to allow it to download from that source because the Google Play Store is not the source for the DJI Fly App going forward, at least right now. So make sure you set it up so that your app can auto download and install the app updates for you to get the latest releases and patches from DJI for that DJI Fly App. Hopefully you found the information in this video helpful. If you did, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, 
and hit that bell notification to be notified when I upload new videos just like this one. Check the description section of the video for any updates if I find anything different than what I've stated in this video and a comment on the video as well. And look down in that uh, description section as well for my Amazon Influencer Store link. Look for tools and products that are reviewed or tested on my channel. And if you want to contribute to the channel, there's links down there for Patreon and PayPal. And thanks for coming to the channel and checking out this video. See you in the next one.